Hello everyone and welcome to another video with me Umber Rays and today we're going to be talking about everything that happened on the live stream tonight and uh, well if you missed it be glad because uh, this was not one of Alum's better live streams uh, to say the least. I would say dare go so far as to say it's uh, not a good sign to the new year when the very first thing that happens for 20 minutes of your two hour, well, no, it was about an hour and 30 minutes, but when about 20 minutes is basically talking about what is essentially apologies. Uh, Brave Exvius live stream started with just a massive amount of talking and mostly about the fact that uh, they kind of alluded to that they were made maybe a, the more recent trials on the JV side too strong, which probably tells me that uh, not many players are super happy with the, what Alum has done to the game. So that's interesting to say the least. But yeah, um, super robot. Let's talk about what came, and honestly, it's looking like February might be a little bit weak, but first, to start off, there is the new story update, uh, the story update, Season 2, Chapter 9, Part 2. No idea if it's the end. Uh, I don't think it was mentioned as the end, so it's probably not going to happen that it is the end, so... Season 2 continues forever. Uh, continuing on, the next series boss battle will be Kefka. Kefka is Tower. Uh, we'll have four parts to it, so it's supposed to be like, you know, basically very, 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 very... I, I actually don't even need the headphones on. It's supposed to be very much like um, the FF6 battle. So, yeah, uh, four parts to it. Um... If you have the Final Fantasy VI unit, it's cool. If not, then you're probably not in a big hurry, but uh, should still be interesting. The last few bo series boss battles have been pretty good. So these should be pretty good too. Uh, continuing on, uh, finally, we're getting a new Esper. We're getting the Black Dragon, which is the sake collaboration that was announced during um, uh, the JP Fan Festa. But um, the Black Dragon, we saw off an animation, uh, looks probably coming to the game only as a one star. Uh, as for the sake, uh, apparently it's already sold out. For those of you who are hoping for it, uh, maybe there'll be another shipment cause, since it sold so well and businesses tend to like money, so there you go. But something I haven't talked about is the uh, kind of the apology. The apology for the story event, as well as trials being too hard, uh, apparently logging in through February and potentially doing some stuff in the game will net you not only 5,000 Lapis, but also 100 Super TMR Moogle tickets, which if you're following along at home, is basically a free Super TMR. So, you know Alum really fucked up when uh, they're willing to give out a free Super TMR to everybody. Wow. Uh, also, for those who uh, follow the JP side, every month we basically have a raid trial where we basically try and do enough damage in about 10-15 minutes and uh, you get rewards. As it turns out, we did so much damage that we'll get 40 gift tickets. Can't use those gift tickets on banner, but hey, 40 tickets. The odds are at least you'll get a rainbow. Maybe. So, yeah, that's not so bad. Uh, they talked about uh, the Chocobo Brave Exvius game, which is basically like a combination of Excite Bike and Ski Free. So, <laughs> for everyone who's been waiting for that, good news, it will be coming soon. But of course, the big news is always the next MOG event and what units we are going to get. So, today it was announced that we are getting CG Furion. It's going to be a Final Fantasy II. King Mog event, which is both exciting and also kind of disappointing. Uh, I'm not super, 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 super big on Final Fantasy 2, but some people are, and you know, it's not uh, all about me. Never is it all about me, but uh, for people who are excited about this, good news for you. For people who are not, probably an easy skip. And to show off the animation, here we are. This is taken from the live stream, so it's not perfect yet. So, Nova. 
All right, there's all my other videos that you can go check out. Oh, apparently Cooley has a step-up pole. It's interesting. But yeah, CG Farian is going to be our new character. This is going to be an FF2 MOG event. We don't know about any other bonus units at this point, but the other unit that was shown off, because there's always two five stars nowadays, uh, the second five star is, well, I, I can't even believe this, it's Leon. Leon is the other five to seven star, and so, I'm going to talk a little bit about my impressions on this banner currently. Now, Leon's TMR has 135 attack sword with 20% defense and some evade on it. Super TMR is a materia, 50% sword, 50% uh, heavy armor, attack bonus. So that's 100% attack on a, t on a materia. Obviously, I feel like this is big whale bait. Um, Leon himself is a physical attacker and debuffer, and if you've been around the last month, we got both Shadow and Locke recently, and there's still Orin, and there's still Edgar, who are all attacker debuffers, so Leon might have a better chain family, he might just have something to make up for it, but Leon is not a unit that I've ever been super excited about, and I'm not going to be super excited about him here. I don't care if he's good, I'm just not getting him. But it's another unit in a group of units that we have had a lot of stuff in recently, so this is not exciting. Moving on. CG Furion. CG Furion's TMR is a sword, two-handed, 135 attack with blood weapon passive, heals when doing damage, super TMR is a materia, 60% attack, bird, human, and stone killers on it. Skill set is listed as killers. Okay. All right. Uh, apparently bird, human, and stone. So I'm not even convinced Virion is better than, is going to be that much better. Obviously the human killer might be a big deal, but bird and stone? Okay, I guess we'll see what trials are in the future. But currently there's a couple of things that I just don't like about this banner. First of all, Leon is pretty meh except for his super TMR. Depends what the evade is on his sword, but really at this point it's just not exciting <laughs> for a unit that I have no connection to, and that's a big thing when I pull units. CG Furion, uh, true dual hand and 135 attack sword with the new damage formula is really freaking scary. It's really scary. Uh, unless his killers make up for it, and those are only against specific enemies, I just don't see how CG Furion is going to be that strong. Unless his like his mods are super high, this might be the easiest pass on a CG unit ever. Of course, we need to wait to see what his kit looks like. But needless to say, right now I am not impressed about anything I have heard about CG Furion, which is too bad because I think there were people out there who were super excited. But don't don't you know light your pitchforks and raise your torches just yet. And yeah, that is how that saying goes. Anyway. It's just not exciting. Now, continuing on, Item World is coming back with the boosted for the katana, the axe, the whip, and the gun. So, good news for anybody who's enhancing those weapons. Otherwise, business as usual. And there will be a couple of quality of life improvements, but <laughs> I only, when I say a couple, I do mean a couple. First of all, they're changing the pedestal of five star units to pink because it's different from the three star units and that's all that needs to be said about that. Uh, the other thing will be an ability filter, uh, the ability filter to look for elemental resistance. Uh, cool, other than that, nothing really much. Uh, this is pretty lax for an update. There really isn't too much. Obviously the free stuff we're getting is probably the best thing. The 31st will be when the update is out, so we'll take a look at the data later, but right now I gotta say I'm not any kind of excited for the FF2 banner. I know it's a Mog King, but this might be the first Mog King where I'm literally happy to just stay with whatever four-star units give bonuses, because neither of these five-star characters, at the moment, I'm super excited about adding to my collection or spending any resources. This is not an exciting one, you guys. 
So that is basically everything for me. Uh, this is a short video. There just isn't that much to talk about. But hey, CG Furion, it's a thing. Hopefully it's better than it sounds right now. Anyway, you guys, that's all for now. And I'll see you next time for another video. See ya.